so hello everyone welcome to programming knowledge so in today's video we will learn how we can implement interstitial ads into adbob so with in the last video we have seen that how to implement the banner ad in this video we will see interstitial ad so without wasting any time let's move on to our today's topic so guys now you can see in the last step we have displayed the banner ad now we want to display the interstitial ad so how we can do this so just after the banner ad let's just close it you can also define like over here come over here and just define the feature add add and let's just keep it nothing and also if you want you can call plate after that in the init state where is the init state okay so in the init state Okay, we can remove this part. We don't need it. You have to write load add. Like I am just creating a method, and in the load add method, what we are going to do? Basically, we are going to call the interstitial add dot load. Then, in the add unit, you have to pass the add unit which is the way which we pass in the banner add unit so and in the add request we have to pass the add request simple like we have a widget called add request and in the add callback so now in the add callback we will use interest add callback then on add loaded once the add is loaded so it will be like this okay yeah so when the ad will be loaded so what to do and when the ad is not loaded what to do so in the ad loaded one you can set this ad ad equals to ad but you can write this dot ad dot ad and also in the ad fail load you have to it is in this syntax the add and the error okay only the error you can print the error with this okay it's done it's this it is this it is this and in the last semicolon Okay, it is saying that expected to find this. Okay. So it's done. So now this too, and if the ad is not loaded, call the loaded method again. So it's done. Now what we will do when this this dot add is called, just call the set state method. So that the add will be loaded so similarly we will make one more method which will show the add so we will write if add not equal to null if add not equal to null oh yeah, this add okay if add not equal to null what you do add dot like you have to use the full screen content callback then content callback and over here you have some of the methods which you can use so i'm going to use on add showed on add showed full screen content okay you can use this one and similar to the banner ad, we have multiple option over here. So, if the ad is failed to show the, and it will also take the ad parent, okay. And after this, it will it also have on ad clicked, 
like whenever the user click on the add so it will say you can write add click and if the add, add failed to show the full screen content you can also use the add dot dispose method and in the add show full screen content block then you can write add dot dispose again like remove the current add and load the another add again okay and after this end with semicolon and write add dot show and make the add equals to null so that it can fetch another add okay so we don't need like so we can just write this we are getting some kind of error and what is this error type of intuition add okay so over here always remember like this add can be null so you have to add this and whenever this is coming you just have to add a null check over here done so this much is done and now so this will show your add if the add is not null and if the add is null so just print fail to load add save it now where we are going to load and where we are going to show the add so whenever the init state is called we will be calling the load add method and let's just call it void load add it will be also void show add in all of this can cut from here come over here and paste it over here so this won't make any issues and now we will call this show add method on the on press of floating action button just save it and like of course just go to android studio and on click of floating action button you can find so let me first restart the application now on click of the floating action button the ad should be displayed so the ad isn't displayed like there will be some error so the ad is loaded so okay maybe i have made some mistake over here and that is in the show ad method in the load add method i don't have to write the set state and let's just read on it and going to android back and clicking on this so now the ad should be displayed but there is one issues okay so what's the error Field add has not been initialized. Okay, very first we haven't provide the add unit ID yet, so we have to provide the add unit. So just close this, and over here we have to write test add ID add amount. So Google more. So you require the test IDs. So like basically, we don't we will not go to the just uh, enabling tested IDs. Okay. After that, sample ad units over here. You can find this interstitial ads. Just copy this, go back to it, and paste the ID. Done. So you will need the ID. After that, go back to the API testing part, then click on floating action button. So if the ad will be loaded, it will be shown. But we are getting some error, and that error states that that late initialization field ad has not been initialized. 
So how to resolve this? To resolve this, okay, well like these are just disturbing, so let's just cut it. So we can also do one thing, like just remove the late and retry it because it is already stated it is null, it can be null. So we don't need to like do the late initialization. Just go it and it's restarting. After it's restarted, click on the floating action button. And let's see if we get any other errors. So fail to load add and add is loaded. So maybe we have some mistake in the code. So what is that? Let's just see that. Not the banner add in the load add method. Load add add request callback this dot add equals to add then on the show add method fail to load add so the add was null basically so we have done so we have, we have done one mistake and that is loaded so we have to call this method not just declare it so after that come over here like onto the android studio over here click on show add and now you can see the ad is displayed successfully we have done and we have created the interstitial ad so you can click on this to cut it and you can also click on this to re check it so this is how we can display the interstitial ad onto our applications so you can do also you can also do one more thing like uh, if the like if well, user wants to print something like user want to perform some action after the ad is fully displayed okay so over here you can write so you can put the code Right now, I'm not putting the code, I'm just showing you how to display. So, if the ad is displayed or not. So, we will write one more thing on ad dismissed full screen content. So, if the ad is dismissed the way which we click on cruise, the cancel icon. So, just do over here, we navigate to the page and we can write ad dismissed okay dismissed and over here add not loading so as it is a test id so of course every time the test loop add will load but uh, what you can see that now uh, what i am need to see you we want to show, show you that when you click on the show button to load ad, it will load it. Okay. But then when you dismiss the block, dismiss the ad, over here, you can see okay, it's gone so up that I can't see it right now. For it, I have to add some recognition for the ad. Now, let's just use this one and save it back. And so in the applications, you have seen that when the when the other the inter full screen ad is shown and after showing the ad, it moves to another screen. So this is done in this way. When I'm clicking on this ad and when I'm clicking on dismiss, the way I use the print statement method, you have to use the navigation code for to, to move from one screen to another. So that was the interstitial ad. And now in the next video, we will see how we can implement the rewarded ad. So 
Thank you.